Hey, it's Rich here. Hello from inside my 2017 Honda CRV. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the night I just spent in Utah Raptor State Park. So I'm just waking up this morning. Well, it's already after nine o'clock. I slept until about 8 a.m. this morning. I'm just sitting here having my coffee this morning. I use this uh, 12 volt cup just to make instant coffee in the morning. And you can see my USB fan I have there. I just put out a video about my new configuration in my CRV, how I now have uh, one seat that I leave this back seat here that I leave in the up position and I have my bed here on the other side. In that video I just put out, I told you about the new shelf I have up here that I pile things on at night. About to take off and I'm gonna hit the highway soon and so I've got everything, like I said, piled on my bed, my big backpack and stuff all piled on my bed for traveling and still a few things up on my new back shelf. I guess in a way this little clip's sort of a continuation of my last video which I, I made the video while I was in Florida, and now I've driven, I'm on my way back to California. I stopped in Utah in the Moab area. I wanted to check it out and do some mountain biking. So just an incredible day yesterday. and I did some mountain biking at this place, uh, Dead Horse Point State Park in uh, Moab, Utah. So I stopped there, it was $20 to enter the park just for day use. And of course I have my bike on the back of my, you can see it out there on the back of my car. And I stopped and I did some mountain biking. I'm, I'm definitely a beginner mountain biker and I, uh, I saw a video, I watched a bunch of stuff on YouTube about mountain biking and it seemed like a number of people recommended Dead Horse State Park. It was a lot of fun. They had uh, beginner trails, which one guy, one video I watched, he said, you know, the beginner trails there were really almost more intermediate and I think I tend to agree with that. Uh, I mean, they were fine, but there were a couple of places where there was like a lot of rocks dropping off. Not, not huge, but you know, a foot or two here and there and I had to stop and walk my bike over but that was just just a handful of those where I had to do that the rest was just awesome but anyway then I, I needed a place to stay the night and so I chose this Utah Raptor State Park and I got here uh, it was about an hour and a half before sunset I think sunset was 8 40 p.m. last night I was here maybe around seven o'clock to check it out my understanding of this Utah Raptor it's just a new state park that maybe in the last year or two and that this area was BLM land Bureau of Land Management where people just parked out here for free I think it's Willow Springs Road and you were just allowed to use these free camping sites and so now they're making a state park out of it and it's it's just started and so it's really there's not much out here they've got porta potties and some trash dump and then you're supposed to pay $15 now to enter the park and I did and there's two ways to pay you can either pay online or there's a pay station which took me a while to find. You have to drive in a little ways and I'm gonna show you that here. On my way out, I'll take some video of the pay station. 
As far as internet connection, when I first got here, I actually had a 5G connection. I have T-Mobile and I was actually getting a 5G connection kind of off and on the first hour I was here. I couldn't, I was surprised I was getting any connection. Basically when it got dark, I didn't get the connection anymore and I don't have any connection this morning, I've tried. So last night I didn't have any internet connection, uh, but I was editing a video on my computer. I don't need internet to edit a video. Okay, so here's my campsite where I stayed here last night. Just a beautiful area. This is the spot I found. And so they tell you you're supposed to look for the fire rings. And there's the fire ring for my campsite right here. They're just little fire rings like this, uh, nothing substantial, but you can kind of see them. They're definitely here and they mark each campsite. There's my neighbor there. I met those people last night, very nice couple. And over here you can see, here's a uh, another fire ring. Get it here, right there between, I, I think, so that's another campsite right there. And then I assume those people over there probably have a fire ring back there, or maybe maybe that's their fire ring. It's, it's a little hard to tell. But anyway, you can see some other people up there in the distance, an RV up there and a van just drove by a motorcycle just rode by this is kind of the main road through the park here and a porta potty down there there's porta potties like every once in a while i do wish i would have brought some firewood to make a fire last night it would have been really nice but uh you just can't beat these views around here look at that off in the distance just Typical of Utah in this area. Let me see if I can zoom in. Got my bike on the back of my car. Man, I'm just such a beautiful day today. I'm just thinking, I wonder if I should just stay and do some biking in here. So here's the self-pay station um, that I mentioned. So it's right here. I'm on my way driving out and that's the road to go out. I would say the pay station, it's here on the right side of the road, probably a half mile in to the park. Not totally sure about that, but you gotta drive a little ways. It says each vehicle should display separate receipt stubs, so I guess $15 per vehicle. And then up here, the envelopes are in there. You fill one out, put the money in, and then that's the slot right there. So again, the self-pay station here at Utah Raptor State Park. That's all it is from a distance. I, I almost missed it when you're driving along this road. So this is the entrance sign. There's the entrance. This is Willow Springs Road here. And then that's Highway 191 right there. So, and then you take 191 down that way, which I guess is north to Interstate 70. And then hang a left turn on Willow Springs Road right there. And this is the entrance. Continue down that way for campgrounds. Anyway, that wraps it up for this video of my night in Utah Raptor State Park. If you found this video helpful or enjoyed it, please press the like button. And if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. And thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.